What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy. Can't you turn YouTube shit? Hey man, same man. We are Lily. Lily turn, 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 Kevin Two Turn is out here in the hood. No, knocking it up, gang. Amen. Say, man. Amen. I hope y'all been enjoying these videos, man. Um, like I, I'm upgrading, man. I'm upgrading, man. I'm upgrading. I'm upgrading. I'm not gonna speak on that negative entities that's been um bothering your boy. I don't want to give them no attention. Um. So we gonna skip past all that that's been, that BS that's been going, bruh. It's a new me, but the same old me upgraded, bruh. I'm finna turn up, man. I'm finna try to, I'm finna upgrade these, these, uh, my biz. I'm gonna start trying to really upgrade my, my uh, shorts and everything, man. Hey, I've been trying to stay like doing what I can do. You know what I'm saying? But I gotta put, I gotta jump, I gotta put it all online, gang. You know, um. You know, I, I I I I go hard every day, man. And you know, I appreciate all y'all support, man. Palestine, we fine with you. Congo, we fine with you. Russia, whoop Ukraine ass, we fine with y'all niggas, man. I hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. We gonna cons consistently try to put these videos up. You know, the grind don't stop. You know, um, I finna start putting that work in, man. We finna start um really. Transforming this big, these 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 bids up, man. Y'all finna say, damn, I'm in back then, but damn, this like this now. We, hey, I finna show y'all niggas, man. We finna turn up, man. We finna y'all finna see a whole new um situation of Kevin Two Tank game. Um, but uh, like I said, man, hope y'all uh really fuck with your boy, man. Enjoy these videos, man. Continue, 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 continue. You know what I'm saying? To support your boy, man. Cause you know what I'm saying? I come out here, I go hard in the paint. And that's just what I do, man. Come to the black kid with real life, man. We're gonna keep on fighting. Alright. Boom. Today, the motherfucking day, straight hood and outside crip gang. Alright, gang. Gang. We're gonna talk about this shit that's been going on, gang. This shit is wild, man. Okay, man. Now, you know we try we know we fighting for 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 um Young Thugger, man, one of the goats, man. Um, you know, YSL, the label, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Young Thug, man, is in some deep, um, doo doo, some deep shit, man. Um, he going against the court, against the state of Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Over, um, these these accusations, man, that that that, that they've been putting on him and the label, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, young thug, man, you dig? He he been fighting. Um, some people, a lot of been snitching. You know what I'm saying? I ain't kept. I it's been so many people snitching. It's insane. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's only a few that's holding solid, man, and you know, it's tough at this time because, you know, like I said, man, it's a war on black people, man, and you know, it just, how it goes, man, you did, you know what I'm saying, um, and that's why we fight every day, man, you know, hey, that's why I tell y'all niggas, when we outside, we outside, gang, and we ain't giving up, gang, you dig what I'm saying, man, so, young thug, man, um, he he been this this court been going on for these about shit. Almost two years, almost a year now. They, they trying to get it together. You know what I'm saying? They said this shit might not get done until next year. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of it been about the um the jury and the the, the they trying to get all the, the, the paperwork and everything that they said they got against these niggas. Now, this is wild, you know, um, they, 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 they we, we've been talking about how they able to use 
his music in the court. And you know, that breaks the freedom of speech. And so, you know, we've been talking about that. You dig know what I'm saying? This shit is being wild. You know, they got this dude who, who I guess he's the co-founder of YSL on the stands. And I am cap, this nigga been snitching, man. Um, he been trying to throw them curveballs and flipping. All in all, I think that they said he, he uh, they said he wrote a statement. He just, you know what I'm saying, trying to do what it do, man. It's tough, man, because you know, you know, when the co-founder is trying to put you under the 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 the, 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 the jail, it's tough. But they he not they he for well, I'm seeing the real. They not just pending it on Thugger, but they the state is most definitely trying to put it all on Thug and, and a couple of people behind them and shit, man. So. You know, we got the videos, man, of um the the, the co-founder of YSL talking um on the stand. And we got yes. Thugger um and his people in the stand and his lawyer fighting for um Thugger against the judge. This judge, man, man, this shit been wild, man. He been kicking people out, been yelling at the, the um the um the people. So hey man, say man, this, this gonna be a rough jury, man, you know, but we gonna keep on Staying intact with the video, with the, with the courts and the video, man. You know, we gonna try to support YSL and and, and thug up for however long. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but I hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. Like I said, man, we consistently try to put these videos out, man. And I hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. All right. Already. So, were you done with your answer? It's not These videos yeah. might not be in order, but y'all gonna, gonna see the just of okay. So, this is yes or no? I'm gonna try to see the for y'all. Sir, 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 please sit down. Just please sit down. Thank you. I, 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 just, just please sit down, okay? I don't need any help from you, okay? All right. All right. And there's no objection on the, on the floor. So, Alright. He's finished the statement. There's nothing else. It's, okay. it's like if, if he asked to continue his statement, then fine. But sit down and stop interrupting, Mr. Matthews. If you trying to help them, Mr. Stevens, are you finished with your last response? Or did you finish? Was there anything else you were gonna say? But I lost my train of thoughts, you know what I mean? But, I mean, she can continue. No, 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 no. If you, were, if you weren't finished, we'll let you finish that statement, if, if you can, if you wish to. But you have to. I don't wish to. All right. When, when you trail off, what happens is that the examiner thinks that you're done. Um, okay? Yes, sir. And that's causing a little bit of confusion because the folks out here think you want to say more things. So, so if you have more things to say, just go ahead and just continue to talk, Okay. Yes, sir. I'm trying to my best. And complete your answer. Yes, sir. Fair enough? Yes, sir. Young. Okay. All right. This is a third case. This is crazy, man. Everybody's snitching. Mr. Stevens, what colors are associated with Young's Blind Life? Fuck out the motherfucking tank, nigga. Alright, madam, you may continue. You may answer, Mr. Stevens. What 
a smidgen mean to you? It doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm aware of the term that you, yes, I'm aware. What is the meaning of the term? What's the definition? It doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm aware of the term. How are you aware of the term? I've heard the term. How do you understand the term to aware of the term to be used. Um, yeah, indicating that a person is a law enforcement or something. Indicating that a person is law enforcement or some nature. So are you able to be snitching in a sense? Please use it the way you understand it to be properly used in a sense. I heard someone as a snitch. And please explain. Well, go ahead. Why didn't a bit? Now, oh, okay. in that sentence, snitch refers to law enforcement. Okay. Why did you use it that way? I mean, I've seen movies, and that's the direction that the movie was going in. Maybe even used the term, maybe even got it from, like, movies. And the way you understand the term, is it a good thing or a bad thing to be known as a snitch? I really don't fully understand the term. This might be a stopping point at this point in time, okay? Yes, sir. Kevin is pretty close to 10 noon, all right? Yes, but thank you. All right. Um, Mr. Murphy? I'm sorry. I'm Mr. Stevens. Um, we're going to stop the examination for today. I'm going to ask you to come back, um, not tomorrow, but Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Okay, so you need to be here by about 845, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Um, and don't discuss your testimony with anybody except the attorney's uh, independency, okay? And I'll just remind you you're under oath at this point in time, okay? Yes, sir. All right. right. Thank you, sir. I'm going to excuse you at this point, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Well, this is wild, man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, um, we are going to recess for today, as, as I indicated you before, because we have some other ancillary business that needs to be taken up. Um, so, and then I told you I'd tell you about tomorrow. Um, given my, the court schedule and other some other obligations, we're going to just recess you till Monday, okay? Unless you all really want to come back. Yeah. Hearing no objection, I think that motion will carry, and we will go ahead and have you come back on Monday, and that will be Monday, January the 8th. Now, I can, for, for next week, I'm going to tell you that we're going to work the 8th or the 11th on the 12th. That'll be next Friday. I uh, have another 
not a matter that does not concern anybody here in this courtroom. I'm going to take that up on the 12th. Uh, so you'll basically forget Friday, next Friday, the 12th is an administrative day. Um, consistent with my earlier uh, indications to you, remember that January the 15th is the official observance of the King holiday. So we will not be here. We will not be here through that Friday the 19th. And then we'll pick up on a regular schedule starting on the 22nd of January. That's Monday. All right. So but for the short term, come back on Monday. We'll work till Thursday. Um, we should have regular day. So we got um, Trump Vontavious, one of young thug people who was in his in his um label are you aware of any of the hand signs used to proclaim sex they're trying to get a nigga for the hand signs yes do are you able they brought to so many people up into this or to demonstrate any of these hand signs without the use of somebody else's hands yes would you please show the jury one hand sign signifying sex money murder? Ah, uh, he just gave what it all that. Blood. Okay, and what are you describing? What the court reporter say? Describe how you just curled your fingers. Um, uh, made a circle on my own. Um, ah, oh, come on, man. My pointer finger, my thumb. That nigga not trying to do the prison. That nigga with that type of hairstyle, he not lasting in prison that long. Come on, man. Yes. Would you describe it before you show it? What other signs do you need? Um, what I described before I show it. Uh, a smaller circle. What else? Uh, and, uh, Curling my index finger this time. Are those the only ones that you're familiar with? Yes. Would you show the jury the things that you just described? Oh. What is that? A small, uh, a, a lower place B. And what does that stand for? Um, blood. Okay. Now, what was the other one that you described? Or was that the only one? Uh, I described a capitalized B. Okay. Well, that's so those are the only two hand signs you're familiar with that are related to sex money marketing. Yeah, that I can call them. One thing. And we continue. Who is it that is depicted in Stacey's in an eight uniform? Me. And what part of your body is depicted in Stacey's eight uniform? Lower, lower right. Yeah, that's taking like everything, stomach. huh? The lower right part of your stomach? Yeah. Is that writing on the lower right part of your stomach still on the lower right part of your stomach? Yes. Right. What letters are on the lower right part of your stomach as depicted in eight uniform? The letters are an L, an I, an M, and an E. I heard in prison, they were the scratching in the tattoos you off their body. The you don't? Yeah. No, that's like a, that's a snake. Oh, okay. So what is um what is it that's depicted on your stomach? What word is it? So uh um something to it, the initial S to spell slime with a snake. Okay, so it's meant to spell slime. Yes. And the Damn, like word slime, it. what does it mean? So, the S is for slow, the L is for low, the I is for I, the M is for me, and the E for everything. <laughs> so, um... Wait, what? <laughs> w. That's a W. That is the only thing that's lying to you when you had that tattoo put on your body? Yes, ma'am. That's what it means to me. That's what that tattoo means to me. Is slime ever used in any other kind of way? Is slime ever used in any other kind of way? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what is it that you're describing? 
Like breaking it down? Like breaking it down how I did? No, like the meaning of the word slime. No, it's slime. Is, is slime a word used by YSL? Yes. Okay. And were you one of the founding members of YSL? Yes. Okay. All right. Oh my God, here we go. This is depicted in Space Exhibit 2 uniform. Yes, sir. All right. And what part of your body is depicted in Space 2 uniform? Is right. that the left side of your abdomen? Left side of my abdomen. All right. yes. And are there letters? Written on the left side of your abdomen. Yes. Are they still there? Yes. Is that permanent ink? Yes. Would you tell the jury what the letters that I'm pointing to are? There we go. Those. A Y, a S, and an L. All right. And um, are they colored any particular color? Yes. What are they colored? Red. And is there a sign or anything else above the Y, the S, and the L? Yes. What is that? A Corvette's. Car symbol. Okay. Now, is there a sign to or a picture to the left, and in particular here? What is this? Um, a marijuana plant. All right. And below that, what is the tattoo? The to the oh man. Uh, a, a lot of money. They okay. reaching. Now, are there other words on the lower part of your app? Yes. And what is that word? Love. And how is the word love spelled out? What are, what pictures are used to spell love? What is the L spelled with? Uh, the L is a gun. What is the O spelled with? A grenade. What is the V spelled with? Um, two knives. And what is the E spelled with? Three bullets. All right. <laughs> I don't know how every family in America in this courtroom right now are members of YSL Young Slime Life, the gang. Saying, shut the fuck up, man, all this dumb shit. <laughs> I really thought that I can, I would use myself, um, 
that I counted as the three. Um, I had a friend who passed. He was a member of uh, uh, Arkansas Drugs together. Um, we had the same goals. Do you contend at this point that somehow you thought you constituted three or more members of Young Slime Life? Yes, I, I, I really thought that I could be. Yeah, I really thought. Did you let it be known that you were Young Slime Life while you were selling the drugs? Yes. Dang. You weren't with him. Right? Yeah. He didn't put you on the lease, right? No. He didn't take you with him, right? Right. He didn't pay for you to get out of Cleveland Avenue, right? Right. In fact, he didn't do that for anybody there that you grew up with, right? I know about me. Okay, we'll talk about you. But Jeffrey would encourage you, isn't it true? And gave you opportunities to have a job with him if you wanted it, right? He encouraged me to start selling drugs. One more time? I said he would encourage me to start selling drugs. Yeah, he wanted you to stop committing crime, right? Is that what you Yeah. And he offered you jobs like you can carry bags for the group when they tour, right? Is that what you Yeah. And he gave you opportunities to try, I'm not saying it's for everybody, but try to perform rap music in the studio, right? Yes. He gave you opportunities, if you wanted it, to possibly try to organize, because they do a lot of packing up the um, equipment and the luggage, right, and pack for people, right? It, it was an opportunity for me, man. But you wanted the instant money like a theft, right? I wasn't trying to do none of this stuff. I can't Because I wasn't trying to do none of this stuff. I don't know what you did. Mm. Just explain your answer to that. Is it yeah. so many? I can't stand it. Yeah, so I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Yeah. And what Jeffrey was offering you is not, he wasn't just going to give you money, but he gave you opportunities to change your life, right? Well, definitely was an opportunity. I could guess it was an opportunity. And he gave opportunities, if you know, to everybody in poverty. True? If they wanted to work hard. Yeah, I Yes. And when you've been in prison before, how often did Jeffrey Williams come to see you? He didn't come see me. I can't hear you. Uh, so the, according to the prosecution, your business partners, right? That's what they're saying. Your co-founders. You really didn't co-found anything with Jeffrey. Isn't it true? He went one direction. You stayed in the house. Isn't that true? We went several ways. But Jeffrey never turned his back to you. He always made himself available if you needed something. Isn't that true? Yeah. He let you come to his home, right? Yes. If you were going to be put out from your house, he would pay that money. For you, one time, right? Can you help out? I can't hear. I, it's Can you really help out. But most importantly, he wanted you not to live a life of crime. Isn't that true? Oh, yes. I'm surprised. Seal, anything, sir? In regards to, I guess, uh, it would be Williams 38 for identification. I, I made my record. There are no differences in lyrics. Prosecution introduced lyrics out of context on redirect under the rule of completeness and under truthfulness to this jury. I would like to do what you already ruled and play the song. And I don't even understand how we're at 24-6-613 prior consistent statement. 
It's not even close. I mean, we're talking about, you're like, you're saying, okay, it's snowing. And we're talking about, well, let's go, let's go, so since it's snowing, let, let's get our, let's get our pails and shovels and dig up the sand. I mean, this is crazy, their argument. So I, I just want, I didn't bring this up. Okay. Uh, no intention of playing it. Mr. Mr. Club, Mr. Steele, I, 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 I understand, I do understand that. I really do. But. I just it's, play the song. But, okay. But you can't at this point in time. Yes, I can. It was brought up with this. Record. Okay, but you know what? It's still inadmissible at this point. It's not admissible at this point. Uh, I would agree with the state under 801, 24 8 801, A through C, 802, and 613. At some point, the confrontation laws has to speak in this courtroom. The state of Georgia has and leveled lyrics made, words made by Mr. Williams. I want to put those words in proper. Okay, but, but you won't be able to do it through him. That's Why it's objectionable. The right person. It's objectionable at this point in time. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm like I told you before. It's. It's not that it may not be objectionable at this point, but for if evidence comes in for different reasons, Mr. Steele, at this point in time, it's just not coming in. I'm not saying that it won't come in at some point in time. This court is handcuffing the Constitution. Then I move to strike. Everything said by Mr. Stevens in its entirety, because I can't confront him. You have, have the awesome power to control these proceedings. But the state of Georgia, wide open that door. I didn't mention anything. Okay, but that, doesn't, that does not make the evidence any less inadmissible. They, it doesn't. They took words out of context. Well, they go against the Constitution. And I want to put the words in its entirety the way they are. You should be able to let me see the road to do that, Your Honor. I just can't let you do it right now, Mr. Oh, Steele. It's object because because the state's objected to it, and I, and I and I agree and I agree with them under eight hundred one, um, A through C. Well, they're wrong. Mr. Carlson has no clue what he's talking about. He's wrong. He wasn't here. And just to throw around a name because he wrote a book, this is not applicable, Your Honor. The state of Georgia said, this is what Mr. Williams said. I'm saying, actually, what he said was this, and I'm putting in the completion of the story. You know what this song is about? It's about coming from nothing. It's about telling your kids, Life not that you're riding around with a body. It's about telling your kids, if you live under the circumstances that a gentleman like Mr. Williams did, you may have to kill somebody because they're going to kill you. It's self-defense. The state of Georgia wrapped all that up in little lyrics and misconstrued what they are. I have every right I need to put this in. And it's not good enough to say later, judge, this trial, and I have no clue. I've never been in a case like this. This trial may go on till Super Bowl next year. I don't want to do it in seven months. It is right now, and I should have the authority to do it, Your Honor. You know, I'm doing everything that I know to be upfront. I give everything I don't have to give. I give everybody a heads up, and it gets spun around. I get to play this song, the song I want to play, and I ask you not to keep doing this and listening. Once you rule, it's coming in. Which one? The state was saying before lunch, I'm, I'm somehow changing the lyrics. The lyrics don't change. I tell you that. Now it's all of a sudden another reason. Your Honor, you have ruled. I use your ruling. I embrace them. And I am correct. There, there has to be a point that we have traction here, too. It is a two-way street. Well, remember, Mr. Steele, I can always, uh, you know, one of the things about being a trial judge is you can, rev you can reverse, your, or reverse your rulings. Um, and also, here's the other thing as well. well they try to take out the guy who was a group. His, I mean, kind of release him. or give me snapshots at any given point and in time. And the lawyer's trying to fight back and say, hey, <laughs> and I may use the whole words. Then more Legally. comes out and I Stop sometimes at that point when the, I get a full picture of everything because remember this is part of what I challenge I told you about earlier when when it unfolds this way I don't get to make the best ruling I can at the first time so uh, unfortunately I'm kind of hamstring um, in terms of that but I do have a mechanism of kind of reconsidering I want to get it right just like anybody else does Your Honor, sure I learned do. about it Today, today, Jules was mentioned on redirect. 
I brought it to the court's attention and the DA's attention even before that, Your Honor. And that's why I'm not fussing anybody about it. I, I'm not, Mr. Steele. I Teal. need to put it into perspective. Not now. Oh, Judge, please take a minute now. break and reconsider because this is important. This is Everything's important, Mr. Steele. Oh, Everything. I, good. Then I need to put it in. You told me over and over again, there's a battle of the times. You could cross-examine. Well, I'm here. Okay, you're doing your I, job. I want to do this. Every time the state wants to put in something like that last video of Mr. Stevens, I strenuously object. You overrule it and you say you can deal with it on cross. Well, the states want to open the door. I get to go into this. They just mentioned a song and lyrics from the song. They knew what they were doing today. They brought lyrics with them. It was mentioned before Mr. Stevens ever came. They didn't ask you, hey, I'm going to mention lyrics. They just do it. I get to respond. See, they let, that's what I'm saying. Your Honor, when you got the state behind you, they let you do whatever, wherever the fuck Williams you want. As a person, he is not. This is a good man. And I get to show the truth and about we can't that fight song. For ourselves. I didn't introduce the song. I gave it in discovery because I will introduce it later. But now it's right. And if you don't let me do it, jurors form opinions. I know you're instructed, but they form opinions. That's why we confront witnesses immediately. It is wrong to exclude it at this time. It was wrong to exclude respectfully lifestyle. They put in the rich gang shirts. I want to show what lifestyle is. You told me do it with another witness. Your Honor, this is the witness. I need to do this. This is the only Mr. way. The other thing, that trial. Look, you have the right to present whatever it is you, uh, whatever it is that you feel. Yeah, you right to present it, but it don't mean it have. when the it's state can do whatever the fuck they want. Here. But there is a certain order. As you all know that the evidence code requires certain pieces of evidence to be admitted. So subject or unless they're by agreement, if there's an objection, then I have to rule on it. Judge, this was the state's doing. They used part of a song. How is it just? You, you're a great man. How is it just that the state got to put in with their own inflection of voice on lyrics? And say, is this what the song says? And Mr. Stevens say, yes, it does. Next lyric, is this what the song says? Yes, it is. The next lyric, is this what the song says with the expression? I'm not going to say it, but the emphasis on the word F. You blank K. And then I sit here, mute. That, that's just, they did this. And I get to put it in perspective. Okay, but you, but you. I need to do it now. And it's, it is right now because it's a rule of completeness. The witness knows the song. He knew it from his memory. Miss Love was saying, the, you know the song and here's the song. Here are the lyrics. I want to put in the actual song. The way I want to put it in the video and then we're done. But judge to exclude it, it makes it look like I'm conceding it and I'm not. And I would not have. And to, to hide behind a uh, hearsay statement when you open the door on that specific state. I, I was thinking about this over lunch. What if the police officer, in, for example, said, yes, Mr. Williams gave a statement to me and he admitted being there at the time of the incident. And then the state sits down. And then I want to get up and I want to say, I want the whole statement in. Mr. Williams admitted that he was there at the time of the statement to help the victim. How is that not the same here? The state is saying, Mr. Williams said this, one, two, three, I think it was four different lyrics. Why can't I say, but Mr. Williams put in context, and that is what the song's about. The state cannot now tell the court, let's keep it away. It is wrong. Your Honor, I'm, I'm not begging. I am respectfully requesting the Samba Court to do what you already ruled and you do have all the information. It was the state's doing. It's not like I'm just standing up and saying, I want to play every one of Mr. Williams' songs. I picked the song because the state picked the song. I picked the words because the state picked only a portion of the words. And I picked the um, tiny desk because it's clarity. It's easy to hear the words and the lyrics. That is all admissible. If the state wants to play the other rendition, I won't even, I don't care, play it all day long. But it's not for the state to tell me what I can and cannot do on admissible evidence. And I ask the court to please permit me to try this case so the man has an opportunity to get the truth out. It has been maligned. Proud.
to that line of question, and I specifically <clears throat> ask you, how many songs did the defendant Williams write about being truly humble under God? Yes. And did you name this song as one of those songs? Yes. And when I asked you where in the song was he talking about being truly humble, humble under God, is that when you said, tell me why I'm living, why am I remaining here? I thought your question was to show me where in the song that he was referring to God, and okay. that's what I gave. Okay. Is the line, I was smoking Scotty, but not Pippin. I taught my son how to stack that sh to the ceiling. Also, a part of dropping jewels? Yes. Is drop a body, and you wouldn't have to pay for lunch. I told my dog I'm riding, whether he Bro, you can't wrong. use people lose against them, bro. That's freedom of speech, bro. I told my they don't do this against the white people, me. man. Let's I'm be honest, man. She like, how this this, you ain't this shit is racist, song. man. You riding for life, then I just so y'all want to make a statement on the black people. Never but when the white people know. do they goofy shit. Yeah, I told my yeah. I'm dropping the jewels on him. You got to go through that with your heart. You can't snooze on it. Are those also words in the song, Dropping Jewels? Yes. Is there any part of what I just read that refers to the defendant? This just shows the court system, man, how fucking how hypocrite can be, man. I'm going to overrule the objection. You may answer it. You said, do what you just read talk about God? No. Okay. Is the line, you got to go through this with your heart. You can't snooze on it. It's bad. You better get rid of it or lose on it. I know you heard that old saying about bad fruit on you. Talk. If you can't beat them, knock them out. If you don't kill them, better not be sloppy. Are those lines... In dropping jewels. Yes. In dropping jewels, does Defendant Williams say, I told my daughter, keep one in the head. She ain't got a pocket. I told my son, if he wanted to live, he might catch a body. I told my son, he ain't a cheerleader, but he might got to catch a body. His driver named Joe, but he still can't do it sloppy. Are those all lines in dropping jewels as well? Yes. Do either one of those lines refer to the defendant being truly humble under God? No. Do the lines I just hopped up out that ghost, I've been driving a dead body, I ain't really into nothing, but I spend it like a hobby. I was locked inside the trap, didn't think about it. But I got out it. Now my cars and clothes exotic. And six nine, but two with me right now. You can call me shoddy. I've been dropping all my bits, and now the FBI won't stop me. Are those all lines in dropping jewels? Yes. Do either of those lines refer to the defendant being truly humble under God? No. Got this Four 
your work is for you, keep it light. I don't care about you leaving me. I got no time to try to make it right. Are all of those lines from dropping jewels? Yes. Do any of those lines, to your knowledge, talk about the defendant being truly humble under God? Social speculation. That's what I'm saying. What does any of that have to do? Not to my knowledge. We're picking random songs. Did you testify on cross examination with Mr. Brian Steele to the following two facts or two assertions by Mr. Steele? That after Mr. Jeffrey Williams became famous, you two went your separate ways, and that the defendant Williams bragged or took credit in his songs for acts that you committed. Yes. Would you tell the jury Damn. what acts the defendant on, Williams man. took credit for in his songs I mean, that's a, that hey. you committed? Because. I don't think blame he was just thug, saying man. specifically. I think he was just saying like how I was living at the time. I was selling drugs and carrying guns. Did you testify to this jury that you were jealous of the defendant Williams because he, by taking credit for acts that you did in his songs, was making money, bragging about things that you could have been making money Yes. And. Are the only acts you're talking about the general acts of selling money and carrying guns? Yes. Okay, so no specific acts. No, I'm not specific. Were there any specific acts? All right, that's a standing objection. That's a fact. No, nothing specific. So what kept you from rapping about it just then? Mm -hmm. I have a ton of Now, why did LeBron James have to do with this? What? I mean, that, that's helping Le Young Mr. Stevens, do you recognize the person who's going around the circle of Mr. Williams number 15A? Yes. And who is that person? LeBron James. And did you hear um, him say, or did you see him, rather, uh, do something with his hand that's similar to what is depicted in Mr. Williams 15. Yes. And uh, what did he do with his hand? Um, wiped it across his nose. And is that similar to what's in the indictment, the allegation that Mr. Williams... Objection, Your Honor. I sustain that objection. Is it identical? Objection, Your Honor. I sustain that objection. Is the indictment show that I showed you last week, if you need to see it again, I'll show it to you, and the exhibits in the evidence... Of Mr. Williams wiping his nose. Was that an overt act in count one? Yes. Same thing that Mr. Objection, James did. Your Honor. I sustain the objection. Do you hear what Mr. James said as he wiped his nose and he was going Girl, around? What does it have to do with the wiping his nose? And is that similar to what you have been um, speaking about the word slime? Yes. Objection, Mr. Williams. Similar to what Mr. James I sustain the objection. It's a form. You can rephrase. Have you been asked about by the prosecution has that, and has that been charged the word slime? Objection, Your Honor, as to compound question. I sustain the objection as a form. You can rephrase. Have you been asked by the prosecution about the use of the word slime? Yes. Same word that LeBron James used. Yes. 
Is there something sinister to you with the use of the word slime? No. You already explained to the jurors that this comes from, according to you, your background, uh, your observation comes from a song by Mr. Carter Lil Wayne. Is that what you said last week? Yeah. Sir, could you speak up, please? Just speak into the microphone. Yes. Okay. And the wiping of the nose, is that anything sinister that, that signifies some sort of gang on Cleveland Avenue? No, we only did that for, like, we were smoking weed. And that's to say your weed loud. We put our finger on our nose. And do you know whether besides Mr. James, other actors... Do that. Have you seen other people do that? I object as to the form of the question. A standing question. Have you seen other basketball players do that same movement? Yes. Have you seen football, professional football players do that? Yes. Have you seen coaches in football, college football do that? No, I'm not a coach. Okay. Have you seen college players do that? Mr. Stevens, please speak in the microphone. Pull yourself up as close as you can to the mic. Speaking I wasn't even answering it. Huh? I wasn't answering the question. I know, I know but we're, uh, my, uh, we're having a hard time. That's much better. See, everybody can hear you. I got you. Okay, all right. Have you seen um, college football players do that same motion? Uh, I don't recall. Okay. How about major league baseball players? I don't recall. Is that something unique? The wipe of the nose saying slime to some gang member on Cleveland Avenue? No. Now, um, I'm going to ask you to approach and show you Mr. Williams' exhibit number 30. Looks like. 
Yeah. And could you, if I asked you, show the ladies and gentlemen jury what that looks like? And you made a motion with your uh, right hand. And what type of uh, letter did you make? I see. All right. And do you know oh, what a crip walk is? Oh, yeah, I heard about it. Okay. And um, would you recognize a crip walk oh, if you were shown it? Or if you saw it? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And tell ladies and gentlemen jury what a crip walk is. I guess a dance. And the Crips, do you know, can you tell ladies and gentlemen jury what generally a Crip is known for? What is it? What a Crip known for? Yeah, what is it? What no colors. Okay. A blue yes, color? What color? Blue. Okay, blue. And what is a Crip? If somebody's a member of the Crips, what, what type of organization is it? Is it a gang? Um, I don't understand. Okay. Um, if somebody said that they're a member of the Crip, um, would you believe that to be a gang? If they're a Crip? They can say they're a member of the Crip. And is that a gang? Do you Would you refer to it as a gang? If not, that's fine. Uh, organization gang? I, I couldn't hear you. Organization? Okay. Did you ever see the Super Bowl halftime show from 2022 with Snoop Dogg? Yeah. And tell ladies and gentlemen, during what you remember Snoop Dogg doing, what colors he was wearing, if you remember. Super Bowl? Okay. And tell ladies and gentlemen, jury whether you noticed that Snoop Dogg, well, who is Snoop Dogg? Tell ladies and gentlemen, jury if you know. Uh, yeah, Tyler. Well known. Well known. Performed at the Super Bowl. Yes. Along with other people. Yes. Um, did, during that performance, did Snoop Dogg, did you notice, um, display a hand gesture similar to yours showing a C or a crib? Gang sign. Boy, they snitchy, snitchy. Feel so loud, man, Tyler, Tyler, dude. Okay. Alright gang, so this is about to be the full one of the full cases of all the YSL gang members. I mean <laughs> label members. Man, it's crazy, you know, you make this big m music label, man, and you make so much money on off of it, you have all these people in it. You know what I'm saying? It involves a lot of black people. And we got these organizations that should be called gangs, like the police and the government, go against what us black people organically made. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we don't get nothing else. And when we finally come up, when we finally make something out of nothing, get something. They find some way, some some plot code, some twist in the kink in the system to fuck us up and use everything that we do against us. But when it comes to their label, when it comes to their corporations and they shit and they money laundering and then people murdering illegal people, murdering people illegally, all this stuff that's been happening. They don't say they don't have nothing to say about it, but when it's come to us black people, they hold us to a t they hold us to a tear. They they hold us like we supposed to do everything right and never fuck up, and them and they could do all the fuck up and mistakes, and call us out like what are we doing, bro? This court system, this this um industry, it makes no sense. You dig like crip, you know um. That's the no. That's the that's this how America is, man. You know, they they try to go against these black organizations, these labels, who help inspire inspire people and help people make money on. They do this, you know. But you know, that's how we try to fight and, and, and watch these vids. You did crip, cause man, these niggas, some of these niggas in this court snitching, snitching, you know what I'm saying some of these niggas are holding it down and, you know, the whole goal 
to get Young Thug and some of the few members free. A lot of you members, they snitching, so they free already anyway. But you know how it goes, man. Sony motherfuckers locked up for life. Not locked up for a minute, so. Hey. But. Hey, man, we need a W in this situation, man. That should be wild, man. Shit, we fight this system every day, man. Yeah. Shit. Half our money going to fight against the people trying to take us out. <laughs> like, you make all this goddamn money, and we got to use the money on that we getting to fight against the people who trying to take us out. Because... It just man, they find they find new ways to make shit illegal. This court case been wild, no cap. But I honestly think, man, I feel like Young Thug can win this court case, man. You know, a lot of them have been throwing curveballs and switching up the, you know what I'm saying, doing what they're doing. You know, the label, the meanings, the, the his name, you know, they've been they've been trying, but how far can it go, you know? They trying to get I think they trying to get like what thug like 20 years or something. I think the rest of the people who behind it, they trying to get them, them niggas life. It's sad what situation life we live in, man. But that's why I come on this bit and I try to share a little bit of light to the situation because I'm like, bro, so we're just going to let these motherfuckers just take our, our freedom of speech away? <laughs> come on. Court case gonna be crazy, man. You know, this regular hood nigga situation, man. I always gotta go to court, man. Last time they, they had the pack. 
This ain't time I got the Oreo. Yeah, that is gaining weight in that bitch. That nigga eating his spreads. Like, <laughs> them tuna fish, them tuna fish spreads. I'll be mad as hell in that bitch. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> Y'all be up in that bitch, mean mugging everybody. But you know that's how you get the plea guilty. Like that nigga mean mugging everybody. I'm gonna get it. Uh, so she said, since she gets stay at home, she says she helps her friends and support. I'm like, why y'all laughing? I'm saying like, yeah, for my motherfucking life. You know, I said having replaced everything in the fridge a few times in my life. I said that just sucks. And you know, um, you said USA or whatever. They only pay for it if you have a power edge. A lot of times, they'll just send me a check. Just send me and we know your power was out for six years. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, man. Get this court system. Let's see what, what they're going to do, man. I hope a lot of these motherfuckers get free, man. That's what the system want. Us locked up. We got to get free, man. So I don't know what happened to the volume. They've been cutting the volume on and off. Shit, they might be talking about some shit. But shit, man, make sure y'all like these videos up, man. Hey, like I said, man, I'm going to try to upgrade, get better mic quality, man. We're going to be on this bitch, man. We, like I said, man, we're going to turn this into a reaction channel for real, for real, man. You know, I've been trying to go at it steadily, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes we just got to jump in the motherfucking water and just go at it because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all know how it goes, man. We got to upgrade, man. We can't stay in the same regular, regular spot, man. We're going to go ahead and uh, call roll this morning, and uh, it'll be a short day for us today. Um, let's see, Mr. Stillwell, Mr. Botts, and Mr. Sh or Mr. Shard, I should say. Mr. Botts is not with us. All right, okay. Good morning. All right, Mr. Williams, Mr. Steele, Mr. Adams, and Ms. Renard, good morning. All right, Mr. Kendrick and Mr. Weinstein, good morning. All right, Mr. Huey and Mr. Matthew Sr., good morning. Uh, Mr. Nichols and Mr. Garner, and uh, that's okay. All right, good morning. And then Mr. Ryan, uh, Mr. D. Williams, your counsel is, um, is ill today. So we're going to go ahead and um, recess, unfortunately, because of uh, because of that. Um, thing. These things kind of happen, so we're not going to take up anything today. So councils, one of oh, councils for the state. Good morning, um, uh, Miss Love, Miss Hilton, and uh, Messrs. Brown, Smith, and uh, Atkins. Good morning, gentlemen. Okay, all right. Um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to call our jurors out. I'll just say, look, one of, one of our counsels do have a medical issue, and we're going to be down until tomorrow morning. We'll start up at 9.30, okay? All right, anything else I need to take out? Okay, all right, let's summon our jurors out, and then we can get them on their way, and so can you. Okay, that was pretty quick. I mean, they had, they was up in that bit for 10 years. Just didn't say it's right. Well, they had the mic off and shit. You know what I'm saying? They kind of talking shit. Man, I can't wait for Thugger Free, man. The, the state is trying to get them niggas out the paint.
Uh, is Mr. Stevens out? Um, so, okay, yeah, you can just have him come inside the courtroom and have a seat. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
you think so? Same thing that happened yesterday. Wait, so she didn't like it? Does she like pretty much? Uh-uh. Yes, baby, yes, indeed. And then it changed the form to her. Oh, well, I'm fine. She may have said yes for that. Well, I'm fine. Yes, 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 I'm fine. trying to show this video today? Uh, yes, sir. I see you. Um, Thank you. Let's mark it, and can we pull it up so I can look at it? What what, exhi what exhibit are you going to mark it as, Mr. Uh, Your Honor, that will be number 32, Mr. Wick, number 32, and last, Mr. Logan. Yeah, he's faster today, day. okay? Because I'm really, I'm really kind of annoyed with his slowness of pulling up these videos. I'm just teasing. All right, Mr. Coco, can you, uh, can you uh, pull it up? Okay. No pressure. Yeah. Now that is done, print.
I'm also telling you why I would probably sustain the state's objection. I'm, at this point, I think it, from the court's perspective, it's admissible. It's just not admissible through him. Well, I, I, I'm going to then ask the court um, to con reconsider for two, two issues. First of all, um, and, and I know every ruling is different. I'm aware of that. But the pushing P video that is directly in the indictment, I, Mr. Stevens did not have any type of nexus to this. And, and it was objected to. And I, I'm telling you, it's, I, I'm, I'm telling you why I'm, I, I, as the, I, as the gatekeeper, are not going to continue on that, on that line of, of, uh, of, of introduction. Of, oh, ben, I, and I don't want to raise a frivolous motion. No, no, no. That no. is the gatekeeper um, that you are going to do, and that the gate's not opening up right now. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm just telling you. Ben, I, Again, I think the, the evidence is relevant, and it's admissible for the reasons you just told me. Now, I understand that, okay. you know, this is the state's case in chief, and you're trying to get out what you what you need. He, he's just not the, 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 the witness to do so. Okay. Well, I also like in the court to, um, when I make the motion, I'm making it now, then any of the state's witnesses who are going to talk about lyrics, going to talk about videos, going to talk about photographs, they have no nexus. They are just pulling things off the internet that's in the public domain. And then if this honorable court just adopts this, or not adopts, if enforces this ruling, then I'm making a motion still to exclude that evidence. I, I rule on what's in front of me, okay? It's disingenuous to say that, okay? I look at what is presented before me. I try and get it right from both sides. I am not admitting or excluding, excluding evidence in a vacuum. So for you to say that is disingenuous to the court. I'm going to look at the evidence depending upon the facts and circumstances of what I have before me. If the state has, has an issue of foundation, I'm going, to, I'm going to hold them accountable as well. And remember what I told you about the lyrics and everything else. It is dependent upon what is presented in terms of a foundation. And I, I believe I made that very clear when we argued that motion with Mr. Carlson. So... Um, I, I'm just telling you, I believe your evidence is for a proper purpose. I just don't believe that Mr. Stevens is the, is the right person at this time for the reasons that you, I, I've just, I've just stated. He provides no, he provides no, part of it is you have to understand, you have to know what's in, what you have to know or have some relevant basis to testify about what's in the what's what's in the video or what's in the item or what's in the picture. Mr. Stevens struggled with that yesterday. He really did. And that's that's the court's concern. Madam, did you have something you want to say? I do, Your Honor. Additionally, Your Honor, the requirement of Rule 801D2A that an admission, and it does not have to be inculpatory or exculpatory, but that it be offered against a party is designed to ex ex exclude the introduction of self-serving statements by the party making them. So the state's contention is that if Mr. Williams wants to put in words spoken by Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams will have to take the stand and he can get that in and that he would be the proper person to get in his statements through, not someone else. That is the reason that we are objecting. I, as strenuous as I've ever been before court, disagree. I am not using these lyrics or statements for any type of truth of matter. I am not. I am showing what I told the court. The lyrics, as, as everything, are not taken for truth. So, 801D2A is not a statement as the state is trying to make. They, they want to say any utterance by Mr. Williams is some sort of self-serving statement. That is not true. It's well, still a statement. It's still a statement. It has to be self-serving and it has to be no, it, it, non it's got, No, it's got uh, 801. A statement means an oral or written assertion or nonverbal conduct of a person if it's intended by the person as an assertion. So... All the written assertions pretty broad under 801A. Well, I, I mean, I'm so. Um, 
Mr. Steele, if, I mean, you can you can identify it. I'm telling you, I'm probably going to rule at this point in time. I'm not. I'm just. And if if that's your desire, I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to admit it at this time. But however, that I'll reconsider it, um, depending upon who else um, testifies. So noted. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead, and any, unless there's anything else, we're going to call for our jury. Check out ten. I back. I gang. So y'all see from the damn videos, man? That nigga singing like a canary. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he talking about um he giving out the gangs, the um he giving out the the he talking about the crips, the bloods, the um all this other shit, man. But this motherfucker been giving out everything that have to do with anything of anything with the um situation. Now they've been talking about um YSL and what the slime mean. Which he trying to make up this little um I forgot what he said love in my self or something. I don't know, it's something, it's something. I'm like bruh. <laughs> they really trying, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I hope it works, you know what I'm saying? Cause Thug, truly humble under God is a good one, you know what I'm saying? And they trying to use these the the, the rap lyrics to prove where that thug is really mean that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, y'all just reaching at this point. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, so thug, so they using his music against him. So thug is trying to use his music for himself. And when um, you know when um the 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 the, the lawyer for thug, you know what I'm saying, is trying to um. Use his music for the help of his of his people. The, the judge don't even want to let it let that happen. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's weird. You know, like the state get these type of these judges, man, who gonna do everything they tell them, man. You know, and it's tough because you know you can have everything right. You can have all your dots and eyes, t's crossed, everything, however it's supposed to be. They will still find ways. You know what I'm saying? To go to try to pin it on you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. Man, they really going after that, the co-founder of the YSL, man, and, you know, it's tough because, you know, you know, you fight these cases, man, and, you know, you get put in these cases, and it's like, damn, man, they be, they coming out with all the shit, they got the tattoos on his body and shit, I'm like, god damn, nigga, they, they got, they, if you got the tattoo of a nigga on, on the, the tattoos on a nigga body to just to give off the shit, I'm like, damn, nigga, these motherfuckers are are really just doing just the most, you know what I'm saying? And it's like they were trying to say that 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 the dude that that was the dude who was doing all the crimes and shit. Which I mean, if, if he want to be the file guy for everything that Thugger did, I mean, shit, go ahead. The fuck. And you're like, they were trying to ask the nigga, like, why didn't you rap? He's like, because he wasn't talented. You know, man, this is life, man. You know what I'm saying? You get caught up easily. Um, twelve is always looking for. For people to, to put under the jail, you know, and make money on off of, you know what I'm saying? And it's like Thug Man, you know, they gotta. He in court, man. He got he he probably got some of the best lawyers the, the, the money on can, can can afford in this situation. And you know, Thug Man, you know, um, he he. I feel like man, he trying to go with the situation, but I could you could kind of tell, man, that you know. This court system is, I'm not saying it's getting to him, because obviously his weight is picking up. That nigga be good in motherfucking jail. But you know what I'm saying? You, you can tell he want to win this case, because who want to serve 20 years in the fucking pokey for nothing? Or some crime that you probably didn't do, or nigga was rapping about some shit, and they somehow trying to say it, 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 it belongs to some shit. Like, bro, let's come on, stop it, man. You know? It's so many other shit that you politicians and all these government officials who've been doing crooked shit that y'all could, could, could be going at. And who These motherfuckers who really trying to fuck up these, these schools and shit and everything. But they don't do that shit. They go after the motherfuckers who, who, who supporting the, the black community. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's like, man, you know, I'll look at the, I'll look at the whole court system and the whole um, thing. I'm like, bruh, you know, they going hard on that nigga, man. The co, the co, 
<laughs> but he giving up like hotcakes, man. He giving up, man. He giving up, man. And it's like, they even have LeBron James, man, in his bitch talking about slime and, and all this crazy shit, man. Bruh. A lot of people do that shit, man. Even football players. Everybody fucking do it. I mean, at the point, it's just a dance, nigga. Like, the fuck, nigga? I would have said it's just a dance, nigga. What are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? But you know how it goes, man. You know, they... It's funny, man. I'm like, bro. Ain't no damn way. I'm laughing, nigga. I'll be mad as hell. I'll be in that bitch mean mugging. But if it's a jury, man, you know... These niggas laughing in court and shit. I'm like, bro, I'm literally fighting for my damn life. And y'all niggas laughing, having a good ass time. Nigga, they, they play motherfucking lifestyle. They play life, lifestyle. And, um, they play lifestyle in the court. <laughs> Nigga, they play lifestyle, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, hey, lifestyle is banging out the brain. They nigga, the lifestyle. Feel like I'm gay and solid in the beginning. On top of the mountain, up in the clouds, like it's the niggas beginning. Man, Thugger Man, one of the ghosts, man. Um, I'm just saying, man, we gotta know the real situation of what's going on, man. You know, we're gonna keep on um trying to fight for the black lives, man. You know, I like Black Lives Matter, man, at the end of the day, man. And, you know, we're going to keep on fighting, man, at the end of the day, man. You know, we it's sad to see somebody who's make, make it successful and they take them out, man. But that's how it goes, man. You know, you make it to a certain platform, a certain situation. They find up little secrets or little things just to try to smear your image or make it make it worse than what it is, man. That's just, that's just how it goes, man. And, you know, luckily Thug had got enough money on to go against these, these, the court cases. Hopefully they can win, man. You know, we've been watching it, so, hey, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Last time y'all seen this video, 12 put up on me. So, hey, we won that time. But situation, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. We out the bitch. Hood, no sign. Clear. Hey, Dad, you know what I want. We need to talk about this shit. be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Pull that everywhere.